Welcome back to a new video everyone. In this one we'll be seeing how to change your app theme between dark and light. So we got a couple packages here. Where should I start? Let's start with base app class which extends application class. We need to have an application class with annotation health android app to use health in our project. If you are not familiar with the health dependency injection and all, don't worry, we will be explaining how it's used in this project. When we control click on base app, we can see we have added it to manifest without adding into manifest and it won't find application class. Now in main activity, uh, we have initialized view binding and view model, have set up main view model and uh, what else we got yeah we have used main view model in both main activity and settings fragment we got a click listener on text view change theme which opens a dialog okay before checking out dialog ui let's see how our fragment settings is the root layout is coordinator layout uh, different text views, each of them are uh, styled with text view style. We got an image view and button to demonstrate how to dark mode everything in UI. We need to focus on color, which is what we'll be changing between dark and light. For background, we have color secondary, or for toolbar, color primary and for text views color secondary or color on secondary now let's check our ui theme of dialog a radio group with three radio buttons for selecting device theme or light or dark theme we'll be working on this dialog we need to make the dialog box show the selected theme and select the theme on click now let's see what's inside data module we are just providing shared preference, that means we can inject shared preference when we want to use them. I'll be explaining it in the code later so it will be more understandable then. We'll be using shared preference to store users theme preference. When we inject shared preference somewhere, Hiltu will look into modules for a function that returns shared preference. We are able to use dagger health is because we have added health dependencies in our project. Now in preference class we have constructor injection of shared preference that is we are injecting shared preference in constructor. As said earlier health will look for a function with return tab share in the module and it will inject shared preference here. Before writing any code, we need to understand how Android handles when system theme is changed. We are using colors from our colors file. See, background color is secondary uh, from our color file. Similarly, all of our UI colors are from colors file. Let's create a new color file with night call fire. That is important, that's how it differentiates between dark and light theme. And copy paste everything from colors file to night colors. Now we will just change secondary color to something dark. We will be changing other colors but for now we will just change secondary color. See when we turn on system dark mode the night colors file get activated. Now the texts are not readable because that is also black. So we will change our color on secondary to something lighter. Okay, now our texts are visible. We can change everything in our app UI just by creating a colors night. For that we need to make another theme file just like we made for our colors. See now we have a dark splash screen. To change status bar color, we need to change color primary. We are using a color primary for our status bar. So we will change it to something dark. Now 
Now when we run, we can see everything is dark except our driver. Now we need to understand how these day and night resource files are generated behind the scene. So right click and open in explorer. In the rest folder we have both values and values night. So for night drawable, create a new folder drawable night and move your dark theme to drawable. Make sure to name both light and dark drawables same. Now in Android Studio, both our drawables shows up here. Just run our app again, we don't have to do anything. Now we need to figure out how to handle our clicks and show theme selector in our change theme dialog. Let's create a variable uh, selected theme with getter and setter. Getter gives data from preference and setter sets value to preference. Now we will use that variable to check which theme is selected. In this when block, we will check the radio button according to the theme which is selected in our preference. Now we need to change the theme when user selects a theme. We will set clicks now on each radio button and change the theme accordingly. We also need to set the selected theme in preference because when the app restarts we need to know what theme the user had selected. App compact delegate dot set default night mode then app compact delegate dot mode night follow. This one is for our use system theme. Now repeat the same for other radio buttons. Now let's run again. Now we can change the theme from dialog. But it won't change the theme when we close the app and start again. So in main activity, let's write a function to set a theme after checking what's selected in preference. I'm lazy so I'm just copy pasting this block for checking what's inside preference. Now set the theme according to preference. Once it's done, let's run the app again.
select the light theme and rerun the app. If this video was helpful to you in some way, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.